So, listen up. So let me take you on a journey to ancient Greece where the god Dionysus fell for the young virgin maiden Amethyst. So for those of you who don't know who god Dionysus is, he's the god of wine. Just an FYI. Yeah, that guy with the grapes in his hair and the wine cup in his hand. That guy. He sought her out time and time and time again, much to her disapproval, to the point where she went to goddess Artemis and asked for her aid in protecting her from the god Dionysus' advances. So this chick was like so fucking beautiful that she had this dang god after her the entire time. She was literally dealing with some hashtag me too movement even in that time period. Whoa. It was then goddess Artemis acquiesced to her request and turned her into a beautiful crystal that shined a nice, beautiful, ethereal form. So this goddess Artemis is so the bomb that she literally turned this chick into a crystal. That's how awesome her freaking power is. She was like all, yeah girl, I got your back from this freaking psycho type of energy. Man, that is some goddess energy power up in the ethereal realm. I got you energy crap right there. And in his woe, realizing the reason why she turned herself into such a thing, the god Dionysus cried himself so heavily into his own cup of wine to the point where the wine spilled over the amethyst crystal, turning it into the purple crystal that we know of today. So the good news is that this story has a happy ending in the fact that the god did repent and ended up really hating the fact that she had to turn herself into stone. And honestly, to be honest, I'd be like, dude, why the hell are you crying all over me like that? Man, I was this beautiful stone and now you got your wine and tears all over me, staining me. But you know what? I thank you. I thank you because now I'm going to be a representative for everybody else who's got issues with people and dudes like you. Yeah, so anyway, welcome everybody to my channel. If you are new and if you are returning, welcome back. In this crystal vlog, I wanted to talk about a very common, very popular crystal that everybody I'm sure has seen, even if you're not spiritual by any means. I'm sure you've seen this crystal everywhere you've gone, especially in metaphysical shops, online. Um, and this crystal, otherwise known in Greek as amethystos, this crystal known as amethyst is what is considered to be the stone of detoxification. So for those of you who are not familiar, the word amethyst, as I mentioned in the intro, it, it means, you know, loosely not drunk or non intoxicated. Um, so it's a great crystal when it comes to restabilizing and rehabilitating your overall self. Now it has the trigonal crystal system. And for those of you who are not familiar, it's actually quite abundant in places of the world like Brazil, Uruguay, it can also be found in Russia and Siberia. So metaphysically, amethyst is a wonderful third eye and crown chakra stone. It contains that indigo color that is associated with the third eye, which is why it's predominantly used for that particular chakra. And it's why many people will recommend that you purchase one of these stones if you want to do any kind of third eye work. It also is considered a crown chakra, but it actually can hit and target all of the chakra systems in your body. It's quite um, diverse that way and for those of you who are not familiar it also is great for alleviating stress it's a tranquilizer really the best way to describe it it's a tranquilizer and it calms down your overall energy your overall vibration so that you're back in a mellow state um, another really wonderful thing metaphysically about amethyst is that it helps with psychic attacks it helps you develop and strengthen your intuition but as you can continue to open up that third eye, as you continue to develop your intuition, you are kind of opening yourself up also to any kind of psychic stuff going on, including, you know, not so good psychic stuff. So amethyst actually is a wonderful protection stone that can help protect you from any of those psychic attacks. I'm sure if you've seen any kind of terror readers online, or if you have met any kind of readers online, you'll notice that they always seem to have an amethyst around. At least I tend to notice that. 
um, they'll have an amethyst around them and that's probably the key reason why they use it but also because it helps channel in messages some additional metaphysical properties that you can be aware of when dealing with amethyst is that it's a wonderful stone when it comes to working on your addictions. Remember, initially, it was used to help people not get drunk. Um, in ancient times, people would actually drink a lot, of course, during the night, but they would carry an amethyst around them so that they didn't have to deal with the after effects of a hangover the next morning. Whether or not that's true, I'm not completely sure. You'll have to do it and see if that's true or not. I haven't personally tried it. There's a part of me that wants to try it, but uh, I don't really know if I will, I'll be honest. But another key thing that you can also have amethyst for, not necessarily for drinking addictions, but any kind of addictions in general, any kind of overindulgences that you might put your body through, overeating, oversleeping, not sleeping enough, um, you know, anything that you know is not healthy for you. And amethyst can help you restabilize a lot of that energy and mentality. And it can help you become grounded once again and making sure you don't fall victim to those overindulgences. Another thing amethyst can help with is sleeping. It helps with insomnia, it helps you alleviate a lot of that stress, and it helps calm your mind down. Remember, it's predominantly used for your third eye, which is, you know, all about your mind. So it will help calm your mind down quite a bit, especially if you're sleeping. I do also want to mention that because amethyst is really good with helping with opening your third eye, if you do use it to sleep, be cognizant of your dreams. Your dreams are going to be quite vivid. Um, you know, you can remember them really well and amethyst is really good for helping you remember your dreams and seeing things with a fluid mindset because it is activating and opening up your third eye quite a bit. So just keep that in mind when you're sleeping with an amethyst, prepare for some pretty vivid dreams. It can be fun. I'm sure it can be a little scary too, depending on what types of dreams you have, but just be cognizant of that and its power in that regard. The final thing I did want to mention about amethyst is that I'm sure if you've seen my citrine vlog, amethyst can also be heat treated to be turned into a citrine geode or a citrine crystal. And for those of you who have not seen that vlog, check that out, but you'll know what I'm talking about when I say heat treated. You'll notice that amethyst will, you know, be taken in its purple form and then they'll heat treat it to turn it into the orange gold color that you're used to seeing in a citrine geode. Physically, amethyst is really great for dealing with pain and inflammation. You can use amethyst to reduce any kind of swelling or bruising you might have in your physical body, any joint problems you're having. It's great for arthritis. I know for me personally, I twisted my foot. So, you know, I've been using my amethyst to help reduce the pain in my foot and the swelling. It certainly has helped the swelling factor, that's for sure. And um, it also can help with building core strength, with building overall muscle strength so if you're you know a, a bodybuilder or you're working out or you're starting to get into that exercise routine because you don't want to be addicted to drinking and sitting down all day anymore you can use amethyst to help you um, build a lot of that strength especially if you're exercising and working out and ta-da because it's also an inflammation reducer and a swelling reducer and a pain reducer you can keep the amethyst with you if you're winding down from the exercise or winding down from physical activity and it will help alleviate a lot of that you know swollenness that will happen in your muscles after you've exercised Additionally, amethyst can help with hormone boosting. It also helps with flexibility. If you're really into yoga like I am, you can become really, you know, you can use amethyst to help yourself become more flexible. And it also, once again, stimulates inner peace physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So one other key thing that I wanted to talk about with amethyst is the color purple. Now for those of you who are not aware, there are many people out there that like to fake amethyst and there's ways that they're doing it that I wasn't actually quite aware of. So I wanted to take this time really briefly in this vlog to just quickly tell you the difference between fake amethyst and real amethyst. The first thing when it comes to determining real amethyst versus fake amethyst is the color itself, the shades of purple. Real amethyst will have variations of the color purple. For example, you'll notice when you look at an amethyst, it can come in shades of a deep, deep, deep purple where it can almost, you know, kind of 
you know, confuse you a little bit depending on the geode you're looking at. And like from this angle, I can tell that it looks more black, but that's just because my camera sucks with lighting. Um, but if I, you know, tilt the amethyst this way, you'll notice that it's got just a deep shade of purple. It's white, then it goes to a purple, then it kind of goes to a deep purple. And most amethysts that are real will have that variant. Um, additionally, you'll notice that amethysts that are real, they have speckles in them. You'll notice even sometimes they'll have shades of orange, or I'm not sorry, not orange, um, red, shades of red, and I'll put this over where the light isn't shining through it. Um, you'll notice that it also will have speckles in it, and it has um, that variation that you expect from a real amethyst. You'll see from this that it's got that white again, that white-like base, and then it goes to a lighter purple, and then it goes into a darker purple at the tip. And I'm sorry, this is a really light color amethyst, so you're not seeing it in its best coloring. Um, but that's what you would expect from a real amethyst. A fake amethyst will not really have that variation that you're used to seeing. Actually, it would actually look a little too perfect. It's almost like you take the geode, for example, and you dye it and it's just too perfect with how it levels. I believe that if, for example, if they took this geode and they dyed it a purple, it wouldn't have this deep dark purple that you're seeing at the top. It would actually probably still look like this lighter purple here and at the top. Um, it may actually even cover up the entire white segment. So you have like literally a completely purple stone. It's almost too perfect, if that makes sense. Too purple. <laughs> um, another key thing you'll notice is that a fake amethyst will have bubbles in it and real stones don't have bubbles like that um, unless maybe you found like a molten lava stone I don't know <laughs> Jurassic Park style but real amethyst doesn't have bubbles they have cracks in them they have inclusions in them because they're not perfect they came from the earth so you know that's just from the way they're naturally formed and just obviously from the mining but they're not gonna have bubbles in it um, the other thing that you'll notice Notice with amethyst is how it feels in the heat real amethyst if you put it out in the Sun or under a light once you touch it real amethyst actually still feels really cool it's almost weird to think about that even if you put it underneath direct sunlight it still feels cool to the touch a fake amethyst will feel really warm and that's how you'll know like oh crap this is not a real amethyst the final thing when it comes to amethyst is that I, what I like to use or call is the energy from the amethyst. When you touch an amethyst, immediately get to know where its energy is being sent. I immediately felt this hit my third eye in my head. As soon as I picked this piece up, for example, my head started to pound. That's how I knew it was for my third eye and that's how I knew it was an amethyst. <laughs> um, so the deeper purple, by the way, the harder or the faster and the more intense it's gonna be on your third eye, just an FYI, like this, for example, like I mentioned, as soon as I went near it, as soon as I picked it up, I got the biggest headache, <laughs> not realizing what it was doing until I obviously spent time with it. I don't get the headache anymore, just an FYI. But that is like the final test that I like to use when dealing with a fake amethyst versus a real amethyst. A fake amethyst, you obviously won't feel that as strongly or at all. A fake amethyst is not going to make your third eye open or feel the way that it does. It's not going to trigger any of your energetic levels. Um, it might a little bit because of the color purple, but other than that, you're not really getting much more out of it, which you can tell that's not a real amethyst if that's the case. And that is all I really had to say about amethyst. I, you know, I was really hesitant to talk about this this crystal because a lot of people know of it and a lot of people can tell you more about it. I'm sure there are so many more people out there that can tell you so much more about this crystal. But this is just basics, crystal basics. So I just wanted to introduce amethyst out to you for all of you beginner crystal lovers out there who want to learn more, who want to understand how crystals work, especially amethyst. It's probably the first stone that most people are going to recommend to you so it's very it's very vital that I think you understand it especially if you're getting into crystals getting into um, energy work because more than likely somebody's going to recommend 
amethyst right away. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me here in this vlog. I appreciate all of your love and support and if you enjoyed this video feel free to hit that subscribe button hit the like button to see more content I release. I am wishing you all love and light. Take care. Bye.